and today while we're planting potatoes what we're going to be using are the seed potatoes and I'm also going to be using the Haas wheel hoe. This makes the job of making the furrow a lot easier. Also going to be using some triple 13 fertilizer. Now folks a little bit about the, the seed potatoes that we're using. But now potatoes most home gardeners will grow these just from the actual potato. And you've probably noticed if you bought potatoes from the store that they'll start getting these eyes and uh, they'll start actually growing some new growth out of those eyes. Now potatoes can be grown from seed, but most commonly the home gardener will grow them from these seed potatoes. Uh, it's a good idea to buy certified seed potatoes from a uh, local home and garden store or a farm store. Now that works, but also what works is to save your own potatoes from the year before. Now these are some of the smaller potatoes from last year's crop and they still look pretty good. They're of course a little bit shriveled, but they don't, don't look like they have any diseases in them and we're going to give these a try this year. And you can save your own seed from year to year, kind of I guess you could say a, a more of a survivalist method of doing things if you wouldn't have access to uh, to those store-bought certified uh, seed potatoes. Now to prepare the, the seed potatoes to go in the ground, uh, I'll pull these out and you can see right here that this one only has one eye that actually has much growth to it. So we will plant this hole in the ground. Now some of the other seed potatoes, uh, like this one for instance, you can see it has eyes on both sides of the potato. So what I'll do is I'll take a knife and cut those in half and then we have two starts. And whenever you do plant these, make sure you do plant these with the uh, cut side down and the eye up. They seem to take off a little bit better that way. Okay, we've got all the potatoes cut up now and ready to put in the ground. And the next order of business is to make our furrow. And to do that, I'll be using the Haas wheel hoe. Once again, I mentioned earlier, I like using this. It speeds up the process so much. Uh, we've got the uh, double plow attachment on and that will just spread the soil, open it right up. Now, I found that I really like to keep my potato rows about 36 inches apart or three feet apart. That maximizes your garden space and then also gives you ample room to work the potatoes later because we will have to ridge them as they begin to grow. When we plant the potatoes, we try to space them about 18 inches apart. We found that that gives the optimum growth and space requirement for the potatoes. Any closer and they won't produce as well, any farther apart, and you end up with a lot of weed growth between the potato plants. Now potatoes are a pretty heavy feeder and we like to fertilize them with some triple 13 or triple 12 and once the potatoes are in the furrow we just go right over the top of them sprinkling fertilizer in the row. Now the great thing about this Haas wheel hoe is all we have to do now is take our attachments and switch their positions and it will fill in it will fill in the furrow nicely it will cover the potato and the fertilizer with just a simple pass Alright, well the potatoes are in the ground and uh, the eyes are up, the cut side if there was one is to the bottom. The fertilizer's in the row so we're ready to cover it up now. 